How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Mnix Plays Path of Exile Ancestor League. Last episode we completed Act 9, Act 10, and now we find ourselves in the epilogue. Our quest is to put a map in the map device. This is the first map we're doing for the League. Super excited to do so. What the heck is this? What's oh, another dude's map? Okay. We're gonna go ahead, open this bad boy up. And this is maps. For those of you who are brand new to the game, if you don't know what maps are, it is basically the end game system of Path of Exile. You open up a map, it's like Nightmare Dungeons if you played Diablo 4. Um, and the idea is there are 16 tiers of maps. Each tier has a variety, a number of maps. And the idea to ev is eventually to climb to tier 16, where you'll be fighting a bunch of endgame bosses. There's an entire quest line and everything. Um, a lot of your endgame farming... Sorry, I didn't mean to say a lot. All of your endgame farming pretty much will be done on maps. Um, so... Uh, this this is, is where you're going to be spending the rest of your Path of Exile life, now that you've completed the campaign. And if you get this far, I, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you had a good time. Because I think it does take a little bit of work to get through the campaign the first time around. It takes a certain amount of dedication to read through and understand. Maybe you don't understand it, but to just get through all the content uh, that the game has to offer. Just getting through the campaign. Uh, the first time around, it must take a while. You know, when I first played, I, uh, there were only like three or four acts. And now that there is 10 and all this content in this game, it can't be easy to just get through it all and not get intimidated. So now that you've gotten to this point, congratulations. If you were on Reddit, they would say you've completed a tutorial. Now it's time for the main game. I'm not going to diminish the campaign like that. I'm just going to say hope you had fun and you have you're in for a treat. At least that's what I think. I think the mapping system is just such a cool system. This is where the game really, really shines. It allows you to cater to your farming style um, and it just it's a lot of fun. OK, so uh, I'm trying out uh, the what was it called? Hex Bloom skills have Basically, uh, these hexes can transfer after they were the, like after the monster dies, the hexes transfer to nearby enemies. That's pretty cool. We can try it out. Cassia, you start the pump. This is another old league mechanic. It's called the Blight League, and it is essentially well, it's tower defense. <laughs> <laughs> Here is the central node. Here are the lines that the enemies are going to come from. You put down towers and you, you... You kill them. That's that's it. You defend and then you defend this the central node. Uh, it's called the Icar Pump. You defend the pump. You might think this is kind of weird, but GGG tends to do this. Where they'll just find the games that they think are cool or whatever. Or mechanics that they think are interesting and they'll just apply that mechanic on top of path of exile and sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't work sometimes it's super weird this is one of the ones where it's like it works but it's also super weird it's probably one of like the better iterations of them trying to copy another you know another game um like sanctum league for example was them trying to copy rogue roguelites uh, this league, Trials of the Ancestor, was them trying to copy auto battlers, right? Uh, let's not call it copying. They're the borrowing mechanics. <laughs> They're being inspired by mechanics of other games, which is fine, by the way. Great. Not to say that there's anything wrong with it. Um, but, you know, sometimes the execution or the idea is right, but the execution is off. Um, and sometimes, it, you know, they execute it pretty well. And uh, you're, for the most part, you're happy with you know what the game what the mechanic has to offer in this case i thought i was pretty happy with uh the blight mechanic it was pretty fun 
Okay, so how do I feel about Hexbloom? Is the question. It's not much different from Cursed Ground, to be quite honest. Like, what does Cursed Ground give me? Just has some duration. That's it. At least Hexbloom makes it... And they're both AoE is the thing. Does this have more AoE? No, it's literally the same. Whatever. I'm gonna go for Hexbloom instead then. Okay. At least Hexbloom has a chance of transferring onto another pack. Although I suspect the range isn't very high. I don't know though, I don't know. Okay, well we're destroying this map. It's a tier 1 map. Kind, we're kind of slow though. Do you feel it? I feel really slow. This is where the build shines, man. This is where the build shines. Just take it. Oh my god, here we go. Look at the damage, dude. Well, that's the end of that. <laughs> okay, so... Once you complete... The map... Um, and you need to complete the bonus of the map. And the... The way you complete the bonus of each map is by killing the map boss while the map itself is blue and above. Well, specifically, if the map is tier 1 to 6, um, you have to run it blue and above. If it's between... Sorry, 1 to 5. Between 6 to 10, it needs to be yellow and above. And if it's between 11 to 16 or 11 to 15 or whatever, the map needs to be um, uh, yellow and also corrupted with a Vow Orb. And that's how you get bonuses. Once you get the bonuses, each time you get a bonus, you unlock a skill point on your Atlas passive tree. And if you're a new player, you probably look at this and you go, fuck, another passive tree. I don't want to play anymore. But trust me when I say that this is what makes the end game really fun to play. Uh, because the idea is you can specialize in doing certain types of content that you like doing. So like over here, there's essences. Over here, there's strong boxes. There's bestiary. There's Kirak. There's map stuff. There's, I don't know, the harvest. There's meta, all kinds of lead content. And the idea is you make yourself a character that is really good. Like if you want to min-max it, that's really good at doing certain kinds of content. Um, and in doing so, you end up with like a dedicated farmer. And, and that's like all you do for the rest of your late game. And then if you want to try the other content, you can either do it with that character. That character might be an all-rounder that can do all the content. Or it could be a specialized character that just does certain ones really, really well. Um, and then if you want, you can either try doing other content with your character or you um, uh, make another character, <laughs> basically, that's like really good at doing something else, right? You know, you make a character that's really good at doing the ancestor, the, the trials, or the, the the ancestor tournaments, or really good at doing sanctum, or just really good at speedrunning maps. So you look for con like stuff in here that uh, makes it better for you to speedrun. So it's very much up to you on how you know what kind of stuff you want to do. I'm actually, well, first of all, Jesus. This thing has changed so much that I don't actually know what I need to run. What do I want to run? Oh, there's some cool stuff in here. 
I actually haven't looked at this tree yet. The new one? Overloaded circuits looks kind of cool. I have to go through Kurak again. Harvest is fine. Harvest is fine. Harvest is doable. There's the seventh gate stuff. Yeah, even I'm a little confused. Shaping. How many map stuff is there? Okay, so there's still a lot of map nodes. They're a little further away now. Okay. I'm gonna go... What kind of content do I want to run this league? I want to run legions. I know, actually, I know. I want to run legions. Where are the legion stuff? It's on the right side. I want to run legions, and I want to be able to. I want to make sure I have enough maps to do. Okay, so we'll go this way. We'll pick up Nico missions, and then. Pick up chance for legion encounter. And I'll start going up this way. I'll do like strong box legions or something. Yeah, because strong box is on the way as well. Okay, this makes a lot of sense. Strong box legions. Okay, that's what I'll do. Um, I actually didn't clear that map, I don't think. So let's go back, at least pick up some loot. And make sure I have enough for another map. It is a tier 1 map. It doesn't necessarily need to get cleared. In fact, I should be... Thinking about trying to clear the higher tiered content. Oh, look at that perfect bloom. Okay, 29 maps, 29 monsters remaining on the map. How do I know that? Up here on the top right, if you'd want to see. Sometimes it'll say more than 50 remaining. And then once you get to less than 50, it'll actually start taking down. Once I get to around less than 50, I typically leave the map. So that one had 15 remaining. So we're going to go ahead and get out of there. Return to Commander Kirak. And he's going to show us the Atlas. And you can see Explore the Atlas. Oh no, this. you press G. And this is the Atlas. So the idea is to slowly fill out the Atlas. We've completed one map so far. And you start from the Tier 1. So there's four Tier 1s. You know, Plateau, Barrows, Bone Crypt arena i'm gonna go ahead start at the tier ones and i'm actually gonna go to my hideout where i also have a map device and now we live in our hideout and we run maps through here so um i mean this is this is where our life begins uh we are now in maps and i am excited i am just very excited um we got ourselves an interesting pair of boots. Gonna go ahead, scour it, maybe quality it up. Now these boots that we have are pretty good. So try resistance, life, movement speed. It's kind of hard to beat, but I'm gonna give it a try. These essences, the, the zeal essences, wailing essence of zeal. I mean, you can have higher, kind of screaming, shrieking. I only have the wailing one, uh, but it's gonna give us twenty percent movement speed. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and uh, hit movement speed along with maybe life. Well, that's a miss. Is that a miss? 
that's a miss. I could craft more life onto here. But then I'd be losing out on... Okay, what I can only assume to be either cold or... Yeah, cold and lightning resist... Ah, it's not good enough. Okay, is this worth anything? Life, movement speed, resistances? No, it's worth like nothing. Here, I'll, I'll put it up for three chaos. Maybe somebody buys it. Maybe, maybe not. Let's go ahead and do another map. Um, Arsenal, sure. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and alk it. Turn it yellow. And I could run it with essence. I could run it with some masters. I, I can go ahead and use one of the masters. We can do something like uh, bestiary, I guess. I, I suppose it doesn't hurt. I've never actually played with the bestiary stuff. Where's bestiary? This? How many How many clusters are there? There's four clusters? There's this many? What does it do? Chance to create copy of beasts? And then... This is useless. The yellow beasts have a 15% chance to be... Whoa. This is kind of interesting too. Your maps that contain capturable beasts have 5% chance to contain an additional red beast? Wait a second. I've never done this, but yo, are beasts like... Are they good? Because this looks like fun. Now, my, my build is probably more optimized towards doing something like legions, but... The beast stuff looks fun. Maybe I'll just do whatever looks fun. Okay, let's let's properly clear this stuff though. Well, I don't know. If the beasts get too strong, maybe I can't even kill it. Like something like this. I mean, it's killable, it's just kind of annoying. Look at all the returning projectiles. Here it comes. There's the damage. As long as they're standing still. We have to rely on them standing still, but otherwise we dish out a lot of damage with these returning projectiles. Come with me. Good day. Okay, so we have Metamorph in this map. That's another league mechanic. And you might be wondering how come you're seeing so many more league mechanics now. And the reason is because once you're, you're in maps, there's like a 5% chance that like any league mechanic spawns in your map. So you could get like a whole bunch of them. Um, and you know, uh, it's, it's just luck of the draw at that point. So you're going to start to see a lot of different stuff show up. Um, and it's going to be cool. It's just a lot more to learn. Like I said, like you're in for a street, there's still a lot to the game that you haven't experienced uh, aside from the campaign, right? So hopefully you enjoy it. If this is like too much, I don't get it. This is not what I came to do. Like I did, you know, I, I came to just like blast things and not have to read a thesis paper to even understand how to play the game. I totally understand. But like to me, I'm like, it's, it's like as somebody who likes to, who spends a lot of time in this game, this is just so good. Okay. We are... How are we already 20 minutes in? What happened? <laughs> Two maps? I actually think my clear speed is a little slow. But maybe it's just... Maybe it's just me. Definitely feels slow, doesn't it? Okay, 
let's put the curse on here. I think I like it better on this button. Pops. Oh, look at the pops. Oh, my God. Uh, I can get more life. That's fine. I don't like this map much. It get lost too easily, I think. Oh man, Profane Bloom is just so good here. Because the pack size is so much bigger, like once you get into maps, it just it feels great. Holy cow. Is that a storm secret? Not a very good ring, but... I remember there was a time when, like, a lot of people ran Storm Secret with, like, Herald of Thunder builds. I guess nobody runs it anymore, huh? Okay, got all the beasts. Is this the boss? Ah, here we go. Oh my god. Okay, get wrecked, I guess. So... This is where we see the Metamorph League mechanic. Basically, as you kill things on the map, you collect their organs. And then you use their organs to create, like, a Frankenstein boss monster who you kill for rewards. Now, that's just all lore and backstory. What's important about Metamorph is when you finally have all the pieces, and you can kind of see, you know, all these slots are filled. Each organ gives you different rewards. So you combine five organs. You combine the brain, the eye, the lungs, the heart, and the liver. And notice how, you know, I know I mouse over the brain, and this one says drops additional currency items. So this one has actually specific rewards. Whereas these ones, nothing. Uses leap slam. This one here, extra life. It doesn't give you extra rewards. So, you know, what you want to do is you want to combine organs that actually give you like reward items. So catalyst, this one will just do the lung, the heart, and the more currency. And what you also want to do is you want to try and fill out the juice in this gauge. Max it out. You can see it all glowing and stuff. You know, if you, if you didn't include the stuff, it wouldn't be glowing, right? So you add this stuff, you max it out. And what happens then is that... Um, well, let's, first of all, let's kill it, right? Where'd it go? Oh my god, the damage. And you can see it drops all kinds of stuff. And these are all things that you had selected when you had initially, you know, created this monster. You know, more currencies, uh, more catalysts, which is what these things are. And uh, you also notice this green item. And the green item is actually an organ that you can keep around. And the idea is you keep these organs. These, the only reason these organs dropped was because you maxed out that this juice gauge. Um, and then you use My these organs to go to Tani's laboratory, which is outside of maps, and you can create like an ultimate boss monster. Um, and uh, yeah, so right now I have the heart. I still need to collect the brain, the eyes, the lungs, and brain, eyes, lungs. I don't know, another piece, right? So you need five pieces. Um, and yeah, that's the gist of it. And that's that's metamorph so basically you you collect pieces you make yourself a frankenstein monster 
Oh, okay, so now I'm actually like thinking about going this way to Einhar. I'm like so undecided. You know what? Let's do let's do bestiary this time around. It, it could be fun. Okay, we got a whole bunch of items. Um and a whole bunch of maps too. Holy cow. Okay, let's deposit all of this stuff. And then sell this. This, this. What is this? 13 to all elemental resistances. 20% movement speed. Increased area of effect of hex skills. You can apply an additional curse. This one is 15% move speed and try res. That's a lot of res. Not enough movement speed, unfortunately. So I'm going to go ahead and sell that. The wand. I don't know what's good in a wand anymore. I'm so confused because I have so much trouble beating my old wand. I just can't find a better wand. So now I don't know anymore. I don't know anything. Um, like, is, is this better? No, it's way worse. What's up with this wand, man? It's so good. Okay, I'm thinking, um... Mm. Increased area of effect of your hex skills. 13 to all elemental resistances. I can't use this, huh? I would be losing too much resistance. I wouldn't say too much, but... I would be losing some. Holy cow, and I lose like 130 life. All for what? Another, another curse that I literally cannot cast right now? Forget it. Okay. Uh... Grab some of these, sell them for wisdom scrolls. Okay, so I could be doing more maps. I'm kind of curious about Sanctum. So let me invite. She has to be here, right? The people. Fly filter. Forsaken Masters. Okay, not people then. What I'm looking for is... Equipment, Games, Ground. Utility? Search Divin... Uh, do I have to invite her? Oh no, I travel there. I'm so glad you're here. Okay, okay, okay. I don't invite her to the sanctum. And then I Oh okay, enter. Okay, here we go. Let's try doing uh let's try doing doing a sanctum. We haven't done a sanctum in a while. It's been a while. And uh this is the rogue like uh content of the game. Okay, so the idea is, let's see, 6% resolve mitigation from enemy hits, 8% chance to avoid resolve loss from enemy hits, and 6 resolve ages. Up to 50% of resolve loss from enemy hits is removed from the ages or res before resolve or inspiration. Aegis is broken when any resolve is lost from enemy hits. Okay, interesting. But the gist of it is don't get hit. I got hit. Okay, not great. It's been a while. I don't... I'm not good at this anymore. Okay, grab the coins.
I haven't killed everything. Okay. Okay, now room complete, right? All right, so the idea is you go from room to room, you try not to get hit, if you get hit, you lose resolve. If you lose all your resolve, you freaking lose. Um, I, I've i never been really good at Sanctums. My builds have never been good at doing Sanctums. I'm really bad at dodging hits. So I'm hoping that I just... <laughs> I don't get wrecked, okay? Enemies ignore your resolve mitigation. I mean... I guess that's we, what we do. So now we got like a debuff. Oh, it's this one. I remember this. I don't have enough damage for this. At least it doesn't feel like it. Oh, I can freeze them though. That helps. Okay. And also I can cast my frostbolt and just kind of run away. And the projectiles still return to me, which is nice. Okay, it's not there. Is he getting hit? I don't even know. good amount of resolve damage which is not great so I do need to look into ways of restoring some of this resolve but we're getting a good amount of coins and we can use those coins towards buying buffs for our character I think that's how it works I can also go to a fountain restore my resolve although preferably I would just continue to get coins if I could Dude, you can just keep playing Sanctum, and it's... <laughs> Dude, this is amazing. I might stay in Sanctum for a while. I don't know, man. This is loads of fun. I missed Sanctum. I, I can't believe how much I missed this league. Honestly, the roguelike stuff, it could be better. I remember complaining early on that like the boons didn't give you enough. Because it didn't feel enough like a roguelite. You know, like normally with roguelikes, it's like you show up and you're like a trash character and you get all kinds of cool item synergies that makes the run better and better over time. Like this one doesn't necessarily have that. It's more that your character gets strong, like, outside of the game in the overworld, and then as you come back in here, you, like... Next time you come back, like, five levels higher, and you kick the Sanctum's ass, right? Mm. Minus 100 maximum resolve? That really sucks. Less coins found sucks, too. Viewer choices also sucks. Room types are unknown is probably the worst one. <laughs> so we probably take the annals... And then we do the Holy Trial for minus 100 maximum resolve. Yeah, okay. I mean, I already lost 100 resolve if I'm not going to plan on healing it. here 
I don't know where the enemy is. I need to go a little faster. Like, not having movement speed, like, really sucks here. Alright, we got him. What's kind of cool is I can throw my frost bolts out like this and then just blast them with frost nova while hiding behind the walls. That's gonna, I think that's gonna be my strat <laughs> for a good amount of time. I have a lot of coins. I could start spending it. I just need to find a friggin' shop. And this is where, like, the roguelike stuff is kind of cool. Where you're starting to think about things like, 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 let me find a shop. Oh, this is a benevolent fountain. Man. What did Holy Trials give again? Holy Trials is the boss fight. It gives a good amount of coins, but max minus 100... 50% less coins found. Less coins found? What did the Benevolent Fountain do again? I don't remember. Will it tell me? Benevolent Fountain. E.O.E. Uh, Yui Wiki. The Nelvalent Fountain contains. A random boon for 150 fee. Hmm. Okay, let's go for the benevolent fountain. Less coin, less coins found is kind of crappy. Maybe I could try removing it later. If not, it is what it is. Wait, I think this one I could just skip, right? Okay, so Benevolent Fountain. Reduce merchant prices. Okay. Okay, so even though I find less coins, that's fine. And then the Afflictive Fountain literally gives it, it doesn't matter. Now, what is this? What is that? This is new. I don't think I've ever seen this encounter before. What the heck? They're burning me. It hurts so much. How do I avoid it? Okay, okay. Full concentration mode. This is kind of... Kind of hard. The lasers, man. I don't know how to dodge the lasers. Ow. Ow. Okay, it's done. I have so little resolve left, though. Uh, do I want to eat an afflicted fountain? <laughs> Recover 50% of maximum resolve. Gain or minor reflection. 
Oh, 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 do I want to do that? Do I really want to? I really don't want to. Another affliction? Can I see the map? B? <sighs> the affliction could be bad. But I kind of need the resolve. Do I need the resolve? No, we're just going to tank it. What's the next area? I could get a major treasure reward, so more coins. Unfortunately, I just never found a shop. You know what? Let's just do it like this. I just... Try to not get hit. I mean, I need to focus on not getting hit either way. It's just, it's just mechanics at the end of the day. Okay, let's just shoot this out. I don't know if anything's there, but I'm shooting it out just in case. Oh! Okay. Is he dead? Playing like a coward right now. Okay, we got him too. Treasure cash, three coins. Templar cash, ten coins. Okay, we're hardly getting coins anymore because of that debuff. That's kind of annoying. Still, it's good damage. All right, next area. Okay, so we got the big stash. Let's see how much do we get. We had like 600 something coins. Okay. Not too bad. And then we just have to deal with the boss. Honestly, I, I, I remember oh, fighting yeah, the boss a few that. times. Hopefully, I still remember. I got hit, which... Oh my god, he got me. Okay, that was... Oh, and I don't get another one until I find another one of those Necronomicon book thingies. I'm so glad you're here. Okay, understood. I understand. I, uh... I want to do another. <laughs> I want to do another one. I'm pretty bad at them though. I don't know. Maybe I, I think I need more damage in order to truly uh, get my value out of that thing. But there you go. That sank them. I mean, that took a while. But I remember, dude, Sanctum League was so fun. And just playing this, I'm like, I'm going to have a great time. I just know it. Okay, let's just keep go, go, going through the maps then. Um, I got a uh, beach map here, tier 2, yellow, we'll do it with Nico, sure. I will interact with Cassia. I like doing Cassia stuff. I like most of these league mechanics, to be quite honest. I think they're all pretty fun. Um, Put out new mycelium. Oh, new roots. It's put out new mycelium. 
Put down some zombie towers. But really, okay. I'm the ultimate tower right here. I'm the tower. Okay, let's try and transfer some of these curses then. Oh yeah. Profane bloom stonks, man, stonks. Dude, our character it feels so good right now. You know, it it kind of misses the mark on Sanctum, just not enough damage yet. But otherwise, it's it's pretty good. Okay. Ow. The Soul Eater? Yeah. Dude, that guy hurts. You might be wondering, Emnix, why are you so quiet? Part of it, part of the reason is because it's a little late. Getting a little tired. Holy crap, it's 12 a.m. Part of it is because I'm actually like, just so focused. I'm having a lot of fun. Just in my own world right now. I don't know if this happens to you guys, where it's like... You're playing and it's going so well that you just have that like... That dumbass look on your face. I don't know if you, you get that dumbass look on your face. I get it. Where you're just like, your mouth is hanging wide open. Like a zombie, you know? And you're just staring at the screen. Just empty head strats. You just go around killing things. You don't think about anything anymore. But it's like so fun. I'm like zoning out. This is like my idea of like a nice, uh, like a good night, you know? God, I miss this game. I'm just so glad that they came out with a new league that was like even mildly interesting. Like at this point I would have taken anything. Like people are talking about stale meta, like I don't care man. This is this is still the shit. This game is just it's so fun. And our build is looking great, even though I don't really know how to take it into the late game. We'll figure something out. We just stack power charges or something. It should be pretty straightforward. Okay, the real question is though, which direction do I go? Do I go over here for strong boxes? Or do I go over here for bestiary? I think I go over here to bestiary just to get the Einhar mission. And then I stop going any further. And then I start going to the right side. And then I'll get to the rest of this Einhar stuff. Through this mortal gateway. Which is all the way over here. And like it's so close to... Yeah, it's so close to this Legion stuff that I'm going to anyways. That I might as well do it that way. Well, actually... Do, 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 do. No, yeah, no, no, no. 
We're going through this way. And then we grab like these nodes or something. Okay, 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 okay. We, I, 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 I'll figure it out. So I'm going to the right side then. I'm gonna have like a weird, unoptimized uh, <laughs> Atlas Pass tree, I think. I don't know what's going on with me this league, but everything I'm doing is like off meta. I didn't, I didn't mean it that way, but that's how I ended up. I don't know, man. That's the character we have. Okay, there's nothing left on the map. Got a metamorph encounter. We already know how metamorph works. That's currency, currency, armor. Catalyst? Yeah, even if I fully juice it, I don't get anything. So currency, currency, armor, catalyst. Okay, drop the... Oh, he got me. See, the problem with having to <laughs> cast Frostbolt all the time is I have to stand still as well. And sometimes that, well, it really should lead to your death. You can't just stand still in this game. But, uh, you know, I've gotten away with, with it for so long that I think I've developed some bad habits. But yeah, I kind of deserve that one, to be quite honest. Oh, and this guy has multiple projectiles. It's just double whammy. Okay, so let's just, let's just be a little careful with this guy. Because he could potentially hurt a lot. Yeah. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Okay, good. Alright, let's deposit all the loot. Find a good amount of stuff. Uh, I'm actually picking up a lot of junk. I should actually consider upping my... Loot filter from semi-strict to strict. Just a little bit. Just so that I don't have to pick up all of this stuff. Is there anything good here? This was almost good. If it was like 30% wood speed. It would have been pretty good. Okay, I'm getting pretty tired. So this is probably where I'm going to call it. Oh, this is an interesting amulet though. Hold on one second. 14 to all resistances, a lot of cold res, some mana, fire damage, which doesn't matter, strength and dex. I'm gonna lose dexterity, aren't I? Oh, I'm, I'm still okay with this much dex. Oh, thank God. Okay. Okay, my resistances get really good like this. I lose a little bit of life. I get a little bit of mana. The mana part doesn't matter too much anymore, actually. Um, not that I'm picking up that much more mana. I only have two points of mana. And I have mana reserva uh, reservation efficiency, which, again, doesn't matter too, too much. I could potentially... get another aura? Wait, can I? How much is a 25% aura? Two forty-five. Two forty-five. Oh, that's too much. That's too much. How much clarity? Two oh nine. Can I run no clarity? How much mana regen do I get with clarity? Ouch! A lot of mana regen. This is like a max level clarity or something. Yeah, level eighteen. 31 mana regen per second. Ah, 
I would like to be able to... Okay. Let's move Tempest Shield. I have an idea. I don't know if this will work. How much is it for Divine Blessing? The blind, Divine Blessing... Makes a temporary... Aura. Arctic Armor goes here. And then... Inspiration. We reduce the mana cost. And then... I don't know. Something. So we want... Red, red, and then a color. So let's get, get those colors first. Red, red, red. Okay, not that. Red, red, blue. That's fine. Gotta link it. Red, red. And I guess if it's blue, it's gonna be Zealotry. Which gives us spell crit and 10% more spell damage. Can I cast this? Is the question. I, need more mana. I cannot because it costs 597 mana. Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay. Well, we'll keep leveling this thing, I guess. Let's put Divine Blessing there. Inspiration can go here. And we'll do Frost Bomb. Cast when damage taken. Steel skin doesn't fit. I don't have enough strength, huh? It's okay. We're, we're, we're not running steel skin right now anyways. Oh, we'll just run... Uh, steel skin. I'll just get another one. <sighs> and then Zealot Tree doesn't need levels. Lightning Golem. Sure, can still go here. Tempest Shield. I don't need another Tempest Shield. I'm leveling one already. Okay. So we'll see what happens if we just keep leveling Divine Blessing. Maybe eventually we'll be able to afford another one. Um, I could potentially put Clarity on Life. Is another option. Anyways, I, I'll have to think about what I want to do with my auras. I feel like I should be able to fit another one, but maybe I would need to get like the aura clusters over here. Or the ones over here. Just a little bit more mana reservation efficiency. But we're going to do more maps next time. We're finally in maps. I'm just excited to do more of them. It's already been an hour, so I'm going to call it right here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, as always, you can leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more updates in the future. Otherwise, keep in touch, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.